Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. We're here in Foley Square. It's Tuesday, December 12th, 2023. Uh, we're covering many cases. In fact, Inner City Press reported on eight cases, eight trials here yesterday. But I'm going to begin with something that's not a trial, but a leading toward trial. It's the Commodities Futures Trading Commission versus Gemini. We covered it, a blow by blow, where the CFTC is call, charging false and misleading statements by Gemini. Gemini is responding with massive discovery requests, as is their right, as they should. They're seeking many depositions. Uh, the judge sort of shut them down and said you should just do interrogatories, which means written questions. Um, as that case gets to trial, we'll be there. Um, one of the trials that's now closing here is the Venezuela narco trial of Carlos Lorenzo, U.S. versus Carlos Lorenzo, charged with massive drug dealing, along with many government officials of Venezuela. But the defense came in yesterday with their lone witness, Carlos Lorenzo's ex-wife, also the aunt of major co of lead cooperating witness Arvalaez. And she said Arvalaez promised to get revenge against Carlos. Uh, the government tried to say, don't you have an incentive? You have two children with the defendant. It is what it is. The jury has the case, and we'll see what's going to happen. In other Venezuelan news, believe it or not, uh, El Pollo, Hugo Carvajal, uh, is supposed to be in a proceeding today. We're, we're, we're tracking that one down. It's in the docket, and so we'll be there. One of the other trials, not criminal, there's a lot of fraud trials that are deeply troubling, but there's a, there's, a, there's a civil case that I hadn't expect to find in which former NBA player Matt Barnes, finally a civil trial for the, his alleged chokehold choking of Miss Bacino in 2016 in a nightclub. It's taking place in the building behind me, Forty Foley. So we're tracking all of these and we'll be getting to the bottom of it. That we're still, yesterday we reported on, on Bennett Spretcher, the Broadway producer charged with, convicted of child porn, given probation, now seeking under seal to get the probation removed. Well, we wrote in and the memo has been released, but not the exhibits. We're gonna pursue that just as we are now actively pursuing the appeal of the withholding of Carl Sebastian Greenwood's one coin sentencing memos. We will get them. Antonio Guterres, meanwhile, is in Dubai fronting for the environment while they prepare a fake artificial snow event. Antonio Guterres is a fraud and a censor. To be continued.